So, if you're making, if you're thinking about or making the switch to PC, or if you're just randomly clicking on this video, or if I just get no views, I don't know. But, yeah. If you are thinking about or going to, or, or I might persuade you to switch your PC in this video, here's what you need or what you can do to get better. If you're like, oh, I don't have a PC. Well, just grab a keyboard and mouse and if you got a key, if you have a Xbox or PS4, you can hook up, um, you can hook up your keyboard and mouse to those things. That's what I do because I'm a broke boy. But yeah, um, some of the best things you can get, I don't know how to edit, but you know, you, you can get stuff from Razer. I, I would advise you to get a 60% mechanical keyboard, but those are kind of expensive. Any keyboard works as long as you have a okay enough de desk. That brings me to another opinion. You should get a desk. Don't try to do it uh, to play keyboard and mouse on a coffee table. It just does not work. Well, I mean, it does work, but like your posture is horrible and it sucks. So, I would just advise you to, you know, um, to go to your nearest like Goodwill or something, pick up a cheap desk, and then we can go to our next point. Um, you don't need Kovacs to be able to have good aim. There are plenty of good aim trainers in creative. Um, if you just like look up good aim trainers, I don't know uh, how to put stuff in the description. I'm not very good at that type of stuff. But yeah, if you just look up good aim trainers in creative, you will find really good aim trainers. If you just decide to switch, you know, and you don't, you can't afford it, Kovacs, obviously Kovacs is the best, but like some of these AM trainers are really damn close. Like they are actually like really close to Kovacs. Also, it's the same thing with console. If you play on console, you literally have no option to use Kovacs. So AM trainers really help. So, another thing is that I hear, oh, it does, you don't need to have, like, the best mouse. You, you don't, but, like, make sure you know how to use your DPI. If, if you know how to use your DPI, you're fine. If, like, you can have a heavy mouse. It's completely your preference. Don't let people tell you, oh my god, you need a really, really light mouse like the whatever ninja, whatever it's called. But yeah, if you need to, if you, it's just completely your preference. You can get an ampidextrous, um, you can get an ampidextrix, ampidextrix, you know what I mean, right? Ampidextrix. Yeah, yeah, mouse. Or you can, you know, it's completely your preference. If you're right-handed, you're fine. But at, remember, you you should probably get um a mouse with mouse buttons. And when you're first switching, you're not gonna have any idea what you want for keybinds on your mouse. I I mean, not on your mouse, just in general keybinds. So. I know Booga is literally the best player in the world. Don't copy his keybinds. His keybinds are actual garbage. Just don't copy him. Just because he's good doesn't mean his keybinds are good. Copy someone like Tifu. He has really good keybinds, really strong. And, you know, I came up with my keybinds by myself, except for I got some help by. Um, looking up Mr. Fresh Agents, um, keybinds, even though I didn't really take too much of them. 
some of them just didn't feel comfortable, so I switched them around, some of them. I just saw a bunch of players, like, have mouse buttons for floor, for wall, and stair. I only had two, and I felt comfortable switching them around. So that's what I did, and I'm really comfortable with it. And when you start, just because something feels uncomfortable, don't stop. Like, it just helps so much in the long run. If you're planning to stay on um, keyboard and mouse for a while, just stay doing, like, just because, ma like, numbers are hard to press, just still do them. In the long run, you'll be thanking yourself. And some buttons, just because they feel uncomfortable to press with your thumb, like X and C and B and V, just do it. If, like, if you really don't feel comfortable after, like, a month or two, sure, fine, switch them. But, like, in the beginning, I advise you just to... Make yourself uncomfortable so you can be successful in the wrong, long run. And going with that, I know people are sweats, but event like y you can see your yourself getting better. Like um, uh. So like if you practice in creative every day for like three hours, you don't even ha if you don't have the time, just like 30 minutes, you are guaranteed basically to do better if you actually practice. Like what I'm about to do, if you just practice your double floor amp wall and 90s and all that, You'll be good. So, like, just do them slowly at first, like this, but then you speed them up like that. Same with 90s. It just helps to do it. Like, a lot. People who switch in pre Playground Season 4 and all that stuff, you know, we didn't have as much stuff to do, but. We still practiced the exact same thing, just in like 50v50 and stuff. That brings me to my next point. Don't play solos immediately. Like once you get your keyboard and mouse, just play creative and once you are kind of comfortable, play some Team Rumble or 50v50. People on solos are sweaty. After that, do like squads and duos. And eventually, you'll be good enough to do solos. Like, I just don't think that's a good tip. Just land at Tilted every game. It's, you know, it's just kind of annoying. And if you're, if you have a small mouse pad, try to get a bigger one. If you have a bigger mouse pad, it will, in general, just be better for your sensitivity and aim. I, I have a large mouse pad just because having a big mouse pad isn't even comfortable for me. You know, I, um, I kind of have to play with my wrist. I'm just not good with playing with my whole hand. I'm kind of a mix of all three, but you know. I, I'm not all three. I'm kind of a mix of um, hand and wrist gaming. But that's just your preference, you know? If you can get, like, if you can move your mouse with your whole hand, your sensitivity will be so much better. Your aim will probably be better. And same thing, you need to find out what your preference is for um, your mouse. Are you claw? 
I don't remember what the second one is, or are you just like a regular, just a regular grip, like you would on um, any other thing. Ah, uh, damn. But yeah, are you a claw? Which is you, like you know, it looks like a claw on your mouse, like you have two fingers like sticking up and then arching down on it or are you like you teachers teach you to do on like a regular mouse I'm a claw grip myself but I can go into better since my match is now over I can go into better um teaching how to do it how like how you should do your 90s and all that stuff at first. Don't try doing fancy stuff. Just go with your friends 1v1. And once you feel comfortable, you can go into real matches. But I would advise you to do also random playground. But you can go into smaller channels like I forgot this guy's name but he has 50,000 uh, subscribers and he is actually really really good to 1v1 with I'm subscribed to him oh this good okay I can build now but sorry for having a messy uh, creative but once you just first start, just um, try to do everything normal like this slowly. So like that in 90s, just do them in slow-mo basically. Like this. It also helps you learn how to do no jump 90s. So like don't try doing reverse 90s and all that stuff. And then once you get kind of comfortable, oh my God, what am, what am I doing? Uh, once you get kind of comfortable, uh, you can you can start doing them faster and faster. And eventually, I'm still working on my 90s, but yeah. You can eventually start going like this. That brings me to another point. Just because you see someone building up on you, don't run away from the fight. Like, it... Even though you're probably gonna get trashed on, at least you learn from your mistakes, and every time you die, you learn something new, what not to do. Also, you should watch streamers, watch other videos about how to get better. And, you know, just keep on going and eventually you'll get really good. Or, if you just stop, you might just switch back to your controller. But you're, on, you're never gonna be as good as you could with controller, in my opinion. Well, maybe, you can't, some people are cracked on controller. But it's just, you have more limits on controller, in my opinion. Since like, this, like just doing this is hard on controller. Let alone doing this. The, I couldn't even do correct 90s on controller. I had to do reverse 90s, it was just, I don't know, it was just hard. Now I can't do them on this because I haven't practiced them in a while. Kind of feels weird. And practice your waterfalls as you're being pressured. Like, remember, keep your confidence up. Don't go to, like, tilted. Go to places like Pleasant or Fatal. Or, you know, Paradise is a really good place to go. Because, like, there's just a good amount of people that aren't too sweaty. Not most of the time. Don't at me on that, though. And, like, you know, you can 